After a few hours enjoying the rhythmic rise and fall of the waves, the sailboat Ada Franson arrived at an uninhabited archipelago at the southern tip of the Outer Hebrides. The sea walls of the three southernmost islands of the Outer Hebrides are considered home of the greatest sea cliff trad climbing in the world. Reason enough for a group of German climbers to visit the islands. Climbers could make an alpine approach of the island, following the Scottish ethics of clean climbing, of course. All protection is placed by the lead climber and removed wow. by the next. The rock should be left without a trace as far as possible. Scotland may well represent the toughest bastion against bolt use on the continent. Ada's crew around James, Mel and Chloe are a reverence for the simple life outdoors. This spirit unites. It was why they had given up their high paying jobs to pursue their happiness. Like a flurry of snow, the elegant seabirds swarmed the black cliffs. Great black back gulls, silver gulls and skewers, fulmers, gannets, razorbills and guillemots, nesting on the balcony of basalt dikes that crisscross the gneiss. Devout as believers and furtively as grave robbers, the climbers entered the aisle as if there were mysteries here to explore. Et in mingle ego.
The sun was holding even above the ridge, the evening light shaping the green knoll where the grassland dropped down to a white sandy beach. Beyond the hilltops, the cliffs of rugged gneiss plunged abruptly into the sea. It's hard to estimate their height from the sea birds that melted into the white caps of the waves far below. Beyond this, the great blue mirror of the Atlantic stretched with no interruption all the way to America. When this hot day's done, I'll see your face. There'll be no room for sorrows in a warm embrace. A warm embrace. This day's come bright. Up to the edge, the rain had stopped and the sun had come out. Sunbeams were migrating across the sea, conjuring up theatrical lighting over the countryside. The islands lay before like a string of pearls stretched over the silvery sea. A magnificent scene of tranquility and harmony. Late at night, fat old cat perched upon my knee Oh, to live a life of ease Oh, to live a life of ease Gut, es einfach so 16 ansatzweise gleich schwere Züge zusammenhängen und du hast eigentlich keine Möglichkeiten, da groß zu korrigieren. Wenn du dich vergreifst oder, oder da irgendwie was verboxt, dann ist es nur sehr schwer, das auszugleichen. Ja, dann geht es ein bisschen in die Kraft aus da und du läufst ein und dann klang es halt einfach ums Anstecken nicht mehr. Das erste, wo ich einfach klettern wollte, war das Bella Vista.